Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a product updates video. There's tons, tons of products to talk about. Uh, before I get started though, I just want to mention that I think I'm going to temporary, temporarily stop or discontinue doing product update videos. I just feel like from the time I show you the products in a haul video to when I do a product update, it's just not enough time in between to really test out the products and give you a good review. This doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing product updates videos forever. I just don't uh, think they're going to be a regular thing uh, going forward with this channel. So I wanted to mention that, but let's get started because there's some good and some bad products in here. The first, let, I'm going to start with hair. Uh, this is the dry shampoo, herbal, I'm sorry, herbal, herbal essences naked dry shampoo. And it looks like this. I love the packaging. I think this looks so pretty. But this, unfortunately, did not work for me. Or it's just a really odd product. It comes out wet, which is a new experience for me. And it does turn into a powder. But I feel like it's kind of... It just... I don't, it doesn't make my hair feel super clean and I like this Herbal Essence Body MV Dry Shampoo. It's an orange bottle. That's probably my favorite dry shampoo from the drugstore. It makes my hair feel really clean and it smells citrusy, which I like. This scent is also, mm -mm, it smells very, uh, it's trying to be fresh and sweet, but it's just very artificial. So I wouldn't get this. There's other dry shampoos that are so much better than that, although that was a great price. Uh, next is another fail hair product. This is a not your mother. She's a tease volumizing hairspray. It doesn't hold, and I and you know I realize that it says volumizing shampoo, so you're supposed to put it into your roots, and I do have it in here, so I feel like it did do a decent job of giving me some volume, but it leaves white flakes. As soon as I put it on my hair, I could see the white flakes forming, and that is just. A deal breaker for me so I wouldn't get this again I know that they have another I think it's in the green bottle green or blue bottle that's a hairspray um, I might try that I might not I definitely wish I didn't get the huge bottle like this um, but yeah I it didn't work out for me okay next hair product this is the procure sebum control oh, Misha procure sebum control scalp and hair pack and this is one of those products that I was talking about in the beginning where I just don't have there's not enough testing time to really tell you how I feel about this product I think it did a good job but I I have to give it some more testing time so sorry about that uh, next is this is the Misha Procure extra volume hair serum and I love this I used this a few times and I'm really into hair oils and serums lately. I just feel like they do a better job of making my hair feel soft. And um, I really like using uh, uh, hair oils and serums. And this one is a very nice one. Uh, next is, I th oh, a few, a couple more Not Your Mother's. So this is the Not Your Mother's Smooth Moves Frizz Control Hair Cream. And I really like this. I'm glad that I got the travel size though because... Um, I mean, I have so many hair products that it's nice to uh, look at these and not be overwhelmed and see that I have a lot of product to use up. So this one, and it's good that these are for travel, they're travel friendly. Uh, and I got these both at Five Below if you're looking for travel size, not your mother's products. This is really nice. I felt like it really kept my hair from frizzing up. You, I know you wouldn't think that my hair frizzes, but it does and... Um, it's been really humid the last few days of summer. Last few days of summer, like summer is over. Summer's going to be over in a couple of weeks, but you know what I mean. Uh, so this is really nice. And then the mousse, this, if you like dessert smelling things, this smells, I don't know. Every time I smell it, it smells like a, a cake was just baked. It's just, it's really, really weird. And I, I touch my hair and I could smell it and it smells good. It doesn't smell bad. It smells really good. Uh, and the product itself, the product is pretty good. So I'd say this is a win-win. Just, you just have to smell this. It smells like just a bake shop. It's really, really nice and interesting at the same time. Uh, I think that's it for hair stuff. Body things. So this is the Nivea um, Smooth Lake Summer Touch. And I 
used this several times but I just don't like the way that it looks on my legs and arms and you can really tell you have to I know you guys who self tan are going to be like, duh, but you really have to exfoliate your feet and your ankles. I felt like that's where you could really notice that I self tanned and it was kind of embarrassing to walk around with stuff like with that look on my feet. Uh, but you do get gradual color, which if you want to, um, it's a, you know, I use this with my lotion and I felt like it was just really easy to apply and you're not going to mess up because it is more lotion than a real sunless tanner, but I probably wouldn't get this again. And this top thing, if, if you missed that video, the, this is the top tells you the expiration date and the do I got this at the dollar store and they cut it off. So, um, that kind of made me go, hmm. Uh, next is this. Misha in shower comfort hair removal cream and this is just one of those creams that you put on and then you take it off in the shower or before the shower it's not my favorite way to remove hair and you need a lot of it to get your hair off especially like let's say where the hair is more coarse like your underarms this is good for I would say your face like your mustache area um and you have to use a lot of it so I didn't care for this and it came with this thing this hard sponge that did help take off the skin the skin the hair on your uh, wherever you were removing it but I like using a razor that's probably my favorite way it's uh, the quickest and you get results next is another Misha product there's one more after this there's a lot of Misha products in here because I had ordered a Misha Mimi box from Mimi box and I've been trying to get through a lot of these products at least at least open them up and use them uh, once or twice this is the Bardo body scrub and it just doesn't smell like wine even though you would think it does and I took some out of my hand I want to show you so these are the beads and like a lot of Asian exfoliators I feel like they do a nice balance where there's enough exfoliating uh, products in here but it's not overwhelming especially if you have eight if you have I was gonna say Asian skin but if you have sensitive skin and this smells really really gentle there is a scent to it but it's not it's more I feel like it just really gentle and soothing uh, and something like that sounds terrible at describing scents, but I think we all say that here, right? Okay, and the last Misha product is one uh, that just I just haven't used enough, so I'm not going to talk about it, but I want to share with you that uh, what it was. This is a Super Aqua Double Enzyme Oxygen Mask, and I had said when I first showed it, it looks like a dip, and I think it does. So um, I just I just used it once and I used it the wrong way. <laughs> You're supposed to put it on your face and then wash it off again. I thought it was just a moisturizer. I'll show you that we all should read. Next are two rollerballs from J. Crew. This is the Arquise for J. Crew number 31 and number 57. And I got these because I wanted a new scent. I've been using the same scents for fall and winter. Uh, for the past several years and I just wanted something new and I didn't want to get the full size and this I feel like this is just a great way to uh, get scents that you like but not be bound to them all the time and I don't feel so bad because I got the rollerball size uh, I mean if it's a favorite I will get the full size but for scents that I like but I'm not sure if they're gonna become favorites I think rollerballs are the way to go and these are perfect perfect for fall and winter they're musky but I feel like not too much because I can't stand really, really musky scents. But I feel like these are just good enough for fall and winter. And I really like those. Okay, um, I have some of the Lush products. I put them in, uh, I put the soaps in baggies because um, I wanted to uh, share them with you. So this is a soap. And this thing, it... It's so funny. It's so fun to use because it's pink lather and it does do a really good job of making my skin feel soft. And then this is the oil. This is kind of weird because I feel like it's a soap, but it's I'm I feel like I'm using a soap, but it's not. It's an oil. So it's an interesting product to use. Uh then here is the rub 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 shower scrub. And this smells good too. Oh, look at that. 
and I like this. This reminds me of the Bordeaux body scrub that I just mentioned. There, it's a really nice exfoliating bead, and I felt like it really made my skin feel soft. And then this is the gorgeous facial moisturizer. It's a little sample, and this is really fragrant. I feel like it's not breaking out my skin. This my, my if you're noticing any breakouts, it's because um it's that time of the month. Uh, but this smells. It really smells nice, but it is heavily fragrant. Um, uh, but I do like it. It's lightweight moisturizer. And then I'm going to end with makeup products. Uh, no surprise, these are the Maybelline Color Blur. I love these lip products. They're just... What I like best about them is the formula. They just go on so nicely on the skin and on the lips. And they're really, really pigmented. All Every single one of them are pigmented and they glide on really, really, really well. And the only thing that I would say is kind of a downside is they don't last as long as I would like them to. But some of them last longer than others. And the one I have on is the one in I Like to Mauve It. I love this. This is such a great everyday color. And I think I'm going to do a video on all of these since I have all of them. So that's I Like Tamave, which I am wearing with this Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer in Celestial. This is a beautiful color, but man, oh man, this tastes so bad and smells terrible. Oh, it smells like old play-doh or melted plastic it's just but the color is so pretty why why does it taste and smell so bad um it's it's so bad that i not it's not even worth it for me to you know how there's some products that you will deal with um but this one this and it lasts too some products the scent will go away after a while but this one mm, and i'm just not going to kind of makes me want to like throw up and the very last product is the City Color Mosaic Blush. You can get City Color products at 5 below. I've been on the hunt for the matte blushes or the matte products that City Colors has, but I can't find them. I've only found a few other things, but not the matte stuff. And this is a fantastic, fantastic blush. I put the two... Uh, main colors in here so this is the pink and it is so pigmented that you have to be careful and then that's the orange uh, and then when you mix it together you get this beautiful I feel like it's a really great transition color from summer to fall it could be depending on how you use it so if you dip it more into the pink you get this really bright color but if you mix them all like I did I just feel like you get a really really nice glow to your cheeks and I really like this I got several other city color stuff that I have to haul um, but this is a winner in my book. If you see this, definitely get it. So that's the end of my product updates video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I got back to everyone's comments and messages. So if you were um, looking for a reply back for me, I am so sorry. I just, I got nervous at one point um, responding back to comments for some reason. I'm a, I'm a very shy person and I, I think... YouTube is helping me get a little less shy, but I'm still very shy, and um, hopefully I won't get into that again. I was like, you know what, I'm going to sit down today, and I'm going to reply to all my comments, and I have done that, so um, hopefully I answered some of your questions if you had any, and please send me messages and comments. I, um, I do appreciate you guys taking the time and I will try to be better about responding in a more timely fashion. So yeah, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon.